This is Mark Bell from SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Got a video of myself and Jesse Burdick doing some on, yes. uh, speed pulls followed by some pull. heavy oh, pulls. Yep. Nice. Most of the pulls here you're going to see are pretty heavy. Yep. We did some triples and then we worked into some singles. We're at CrossFit Ethos in Orange County, Laguna Hills, uh, doing a uh, CrossFit powerlifting certification. And um, we like to do these little workouts beforehand. Have a couple of the CrossFitians watch us so they can see uh, what a powerlifting workout looks like before we start our class. And um, we got about 400 pounds of chains on the bar. We got nearly 400 pounds of bar weight as well. You can see how demanding it is. That big old lump of chain is in the way. And the reason why we call these cold cock deadlifts are for obvious reasons. It gives you a little bit of a cold cock as you pull the weights up. Uh, towards the groinage area. That lovely shot of the suitcase was my new suitcase. Oh, yes. I'm trying to gay it up in 2012 and go big. Here's Burdick pulling. Um, nice. Again, about 400 pounds of bar weight. There's uh, probably around 350 pounds of chains on there right now. And we start working towards more and more chain. You can see just that big old, that big old ball of chain in the middle there. It sets the barbell away from us pretty far. It also is making me uh, pull a little wider than I'd like, and then also making me have my hands much wider. You can see how difficult that was there. I really wanted to do a triple, but just ended with a single uh, due to the difficulty level. There you go, Jess. Verdict pulls through on this one. Uh, Jesse and I have both pulled over 750 pounds. Jesse's done an 804. I've done a 766. Yep. And now you can see, I think that's all of them right there. Every single chain that this gym had. 20, pound, 20 pairs of chains, or 20 chains total rather. And uh, just a real freaking gut buster. Here I'm searching for some extra strength. I'm uh, wearing some 2XU um, compression gear that I got uh, actually on this same day. I got them today and uh, I've been testing it out and the first go of it I really liked it a lot it's uh, not like power to gear but still pretty effective Finish, nonetheless. Hip back, hips through, hips, 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 hips. not effective enough to help me with that massive lift <laughs> that was a pretty brutal lift again Come the weights on, yes. are set uh, out a little further than I'd like I, it's hard for me to get underneath that barbell and really uh, utilize my hips the way that I need to with that giant mass on, chain now. Get started. Way. Here goes Burdick going for a cold cock. And he just couldn't get it above the knee. Just got it above the uh, compression Come socks on. there, and that was about it. I'm pissed. I wanted to try it again. I was getting fired up. I was like, come on, man. I know I can do that weight. So here I am trying it again. And, finish, uh, finish, finish. That one actually uh, hurt real deep into the hammy. That's why the little little bunny hop there at the end. <coughs> Here goes Burdick giving it another go with a weird grip and trying to push the chains around. That didn't work. So here we got uh, some stiff leg deadlifts. There's a stiff leg deadlift. Here's another stiff leg deadlift coming your way. And here's a regular conventional deadlift. Not a huge difference in back positioning. I'm not a great conventional puller. Just wanted to show you people out there. This is a great coaching tool for people who have problems with their butt shooting up in the deadlift. Here's another stiff-legged deadlift, this time done sumo. And now here comes a regular sumo pole. Two of them in a row. Sit back into it, knees are out. You see how the hips aren't really all that much lower. The difference is not that great. Even if you have more mobility, your hips uh, shouldn't be changing all that much. Here's Burdick doing some uh, stiffies. Followed by a regular one. Now here he goes with a couple sumos. There's a sumo stiffy, and here's a sumo regular. Again, you can see the difference in the hip there position, and that's it from supertraining.tv.